With the 53rd pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Washington Redskins select Sua Cravens. Sua Cravens. So this guy does a lot of jobs. They ask him to do a bunch of stuff. They ask him to tackle in the run game. They ask him to match up in the pass game. They ask him to play special teams. That's a really solid second round pick. Sua Cravens was supposed to be the next big star for the Washington Redskins. He had the unique talent and skills to be able to play both linebacker and safety. He had a great rating right before the NFL draft and was projected as someone that could contribute immediately and had the potential to have a long NFL career. How did such a great player coming out of college manage to only last two seasons in the NFL? Where did it go wrong? This is the story of what happened to Sua Cravens. In order to understand his story, we have to start from the beginning. Sua went to high school and played football at Vista Marietta High School in Marietta, California. In his junior year, he put up some monster numbers. On defense, he had 96 tackles, 11 sacks, and 3 interceptions. While on offense, he ran for 15 touchdowns and caught 4 touchdown passes. He was a very talented athlete that had the ability to play at linebacker, cornerback, running back, and wide receiver. Coming out of high school, Sua Cravens was one of the top recruits in the country. He was a consensus five-star recruit, and all the big schools wanted him on their team. As a kid, he grew up a Trojan fan, and his mom's dream was for him to attend USC. He decided to stay close to home and chose to play football at USC which was only a few hours away from where he went to high school. He graduated from high school a semester early to start college at USC, and he secured a starting spot at Strong Safety the following fall, despite injuring his knee during the spring. Cravens made various freshman All-American teams, and he ended up moving to safety linebacker as a sophomore in a hybrid role and he led the team with 17 tackles for a loss, five sacks, and three interceptions to earn a third-team AP All-American and first-team All-Pac-12 that year. He repeated those honors in 2015, having 86 tackles, five and a half sacks, and two interceptions. After completing his junior season at USC, he opted to forego his final year of eligibility and entered the 2016 NFL Draft. Sua was drafted in the second round by the Washington Redskins with the 53rd pick in the draft. During his rookie year, he played in 11 games and had 34 tackles and one interception. If you remember, his interception helped beat the Giants during that season. During his rookie year, he showed flashes of great things to come and had a chance to become the cornerstone player in Washington. But his rookie year is also when he started having issues because of a concussion he sustained from his fourth career game against the Cleveland Browns. Craven sat out the next two games after that as he went through the NFL concussion protocol. His concussion affected him really bad as he had headaches, dizziness, blurred double vision, and trouble focusing his eyes. He started wearing prescription glasses to help correct his vision issues. He was able to come back in week 7 during that season as he passed his concussion protocol test. He was fine during game days, but during the week leading to the games and after the games, he'd have constant panic attacks. When he was alone at home, he felt depressed, hopeless, and afraid. He also continued to have issues with his vision. Later in his rookie season, Sua suffered another injury in week 14 against the Eagles and injured his right bicep. The MRI revealed he didn't need surgery, but he didn't want to get his arm drained to reduce the swelling and move the recovery along. This caused some tension between Sua and the coaching staff. While things didn't end on the best terms in his rookie season, Things didn't get better as right before the start of his next season, Sua was involved in some drama over a text he sent to his teammates. Right before the season started, cornerback Josh Norman was hosting players 
and team staff for a housewarming party at his house one night. Cravens was invited but decided not to attend. Most of the cornerbacks were there that night and their phones went off at the same time with the text from Cravens. He told him he was going to retire from football to deal with personal issues and that he was done. The coaching staff ended up meeting with Sua after hearing the news from other players and Gruden told Chris Cravens that he had 30 days to figure it out whether he wanted to rejoin the team and play it during the season. If Cravens didn't return the, to the team within 30 days, they'd have to put him on the reserve slash left squad list, which would result in no pay for the entire season. The team placed him on the reserve left squad list, ending his season and preventing him from collecting any of his 2017 salary. Dr. Collins diagnosed Sua with post-concussion syndrome. He ended up staying on the reserve list giving him much needed time to recover mentally and physically from the concussion issue and he was able to find his passion to play football again. He was reinstated by the Redskins in February 2018 and then the next month after being reinstated, Sua got traded to the Broncos. With a fresh start with the Broncos, he started with the season in, on IR due to a knee issue. He only ended up playing five games that season and had 18 tackles, but struggled throughout the season. He got cut before the next season started and never played football in the NFL again. Now that Sue is out of the league and his football career is over due to injuries, he's gotten into podcasting and is currently an analyst for the USC Trojans tailgate show and part of CBS Sports Central. Do you think Sue made the right move retiring football so early? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.